hi dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here i appreciate your love and your support guys i don't take it for granted but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and you subscribe automatically youtube is going to turn on that notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so guys in our today's video we are going to be having a <laughs> story time actually it is a continuation of linda's love story the last part that i promise you guys but if it is your first time to click on my channel and you're finding this story and i'm saying linda's story you feel lost linda is a zambian lady a single mother of one who found love on online dating site with a guy from norway and linda found love on that dating site after three days of rejoining that dating site so today's video is gonna be really amazing you are going to enjoy it very very much but if you are a single lady searching for love on online dating sites or apps and you clicked on this video count yourself blessed yes because <laughs> oh my god the information that you're going to be getting from this video will help you so much in your search i've never shared this kind of information in my videos and that's why i love story times because every love story is different we have something different to learn from each love story yeah so without wasting much of your time guys let us jump into this video before i start if you see me sweating just know that it's too hot right now in italy so i'm going to be using my hand fan <laughs> to cool myself while talking to you guys yeah <sighs> so dear friends for those who watched linda's love story part two we ended whereby linda was chatting with this guy from denmark and after one week of them communicating the danish guy wanted to invite linda to denmark but linda was not comfortable to visit him in denmark because it was too soon for her you know to go visit a stranger in denmark plus told us couldn't leave her son was supposed to take care of her son you know instead of traveling go to meet a stranger in Denmark so after talking to him was like I think you should be the one to come to Zambia the guy said yes no problem they kept on getting to know each other and he was really into Linda to an extent he asked Linda to be his girlfriend and Linda accepted so they became girlfriend and boyfriend online <laughs> all was good Linda was happy this guy had three kids remember Linda was searching for a single dad on the dating sites or dating apps because she is a single mother wanted a guy that if that guy had kids they could grow their kids together yeah, so that is why she could give chances to guys that are single parents. Yeah, so all was good. He could talk with Linda on a video call every single night. But one time when the kids went to visit, this guy never called Linda. And because they are girlfriend and boyfriend, <laughs> Linda felt free or okay to ask the guy, why didn't you call me yesterday like you always call at night? The guy started bringing excuses. Oh, I couldn't call. Linda was like, you could have called me even in your room. He said, no, even if I was in my room, I couldn't call. It's private, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and guys, this has been happening a lot to most ladies, especially I've seen this with ladies that I guide on online dating apps or sites. If you're one of them watching this, you know what I am talking about. You find you're chatting with a guy, everything is fine. This guy is promising you the world. 
but in the course of you communicating there are some situations that will happen whereby one weekend that guy might tell you i can't talk to you because you know my father came to visit i have to take care of him give him the whole attention so i will talk to you on a video call when my father leaves or sam will tell you all my kids are around i don't want to disturb kids so that is why i can't call you on a video call when you hear those excuses, just know that that guy is playing games on you. He's hiding some things from you. He doesn't want you to find out. Okay, so stay on that alert mode. Like, hmm, Bella talked about this. I should be careful or I shouldn't just take it lightly and be like, okay, keep insisting that I need to talk to you. If he doesn't, he should tell you the truth. Why? Than just, you know, beating around the bush. So yeah, this Danish guy told Linda, it's private. I can't talk to you. And I told you, those guys that tells you it's private. You can't go there. It's a no-go zone. Let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about us. <laughs> Trouble is coming. So remember, guys, these people are girlfriend and boyfriend. Linda suggested they should log out of the dating site, you know, and concentrate on themselves. <laughs> Avoid temptations of the dating sites, dating apps. But this guy felt like it was not a big deal, you know, for him to still be on the dating sites, dating apps. Like Linda was exaggerating the thing. So Linda's instincts told her to go check on the dating site where they met if that guy will be still online and to her surprise came to find out that that guy was still online active <laughs> searching busy searching so she was like if everything is fine why is this guy still there i told him we need to log out of the dating site i thought he had listened to me but that's not the case so linda never wanted to go confront him so what she did was like i'm going to indirectly show him that i am still online and see his reaction when that guy found out linda was still online active got super upset and that's when the guy blocked linda we stopped there so after linda being blocked by that danish guy tells you or was telling me at this point bella i was losing hope and faith and what i declared to god for myself remember the beginning of 2023 linda declared to god that it is her year her year to get married but due to all these challenges that she has been facing and you people that watched part two you have seen like all the challenges that linda went through so due to all that she lost hope and faith on the dating sites started thinking that marriage is just not for me maybe i will never find the one online and guys i know that her words are touching your heart you who have been on the dating sites searching for love for so many years you have faced lots of challenges you know you have never seen anything good coming out of you being on the dating sites dating apps some of you have even you know been writing to me you are my babies you reach a point be like bella maybe i'm just hoping for something that will never happen bella maybe this is just a wastage of time you know me being online i know i know guys you can relate <laughs> so linda too went through what you are going through now linda too was at your point the point where you are like i'm losing hope and faith in this whole thing <laughs> some have even turned into haters you know <laughs> when they hear me talking about online dating you can succeed and for them they've been there for years they'd be like what is she talking about <laughs> you know <laughs> 
Yeah, so Linda went through that. But is it true that marriage wasn't for Linda? No, it's not true. And we are going to find out as I keep on telling you this love story. So guys, after Linda losing hope and faith on the dating apps and sites, told herself, this is not for me. I am done, done, done with these dating sites. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Decided to delete all of them. Was like, maybe I'll think about it later when I am ready. So yeah, kept on with her life. But I've always told you this. <laughs> you know, if you want to achieve something, and you try, you try, you try, you are not achieving. Even if you just decide like, let me give up. If you have not achieved it, you still have that voice telling you, what if you stayed? What if you kept on trying? You know, maybe you could have found the one. <laughs> Plus the love stories that I always share here, you find someone has lost hope and then they see she found love. They're like, hmm. Maybe Bella is telling the truth. I should just, you know, go back and search. Maybe this time I might be lucky. So that's what happened to Linda. After deleting all dating apps, took a break. And after a long break in June 2023, that is when she decided to come back on the dating sites, you know, downloaded same, same dating sites and apps set her profile you know cute pictures and had to write words that she could feel in her heart exactly what she wanted what she was looking for and what she was feeling at that time what are those words i am going to be sharing with you what she wrote on her profile when she rejoined the dating sites and apps tells us her profile was simple and clear. Also stated that I am looking for a serious relationship that will lead to marriage and last forever because that is what Linda wanted. So after setting her profile tells us kept on using Jerry's strategy. Oh my God. I think I need to reach out to Jerry and thank her for you guys. Cause her love story, you know, when I shared it, <laughs> oh my God, it didn't go viral. You know, the video didn't go viral. It was just there, <laughs> but you know, I'm always thankful for what I share here. So even if it goes viral, even if it doesn't go viral, it is just fine with me. Important. The message is delivered. Even if to few people, at least I've managed to save some ladies or to help a lady out there. So when I shared her love story, you know, past something like a year, then I started getting success stories. Ladies saying, Bella, I followed Jerry's strategy. And this keeps on giving me energy, keeps on telling me, Bella, keep sharing the stories the way you share them. Cause I share the love stories in details. Some people used to complain the videos are too long, but as time keeps on going, they came to understand why the videos are long because I share into details. And those details are very, very important. Those details have helped lots of ladies to find love. Cause I remember sharing Jerry's love story and she was like, Bella, I could send 10 to 15 messages in a day to different men on different dating sites. I did not care those who did not respond. Those who responded, I also had to filter, you know, if a guy could say, say anything sexy, <laughs> You are cancelled. So that's what Jerry shared in her love story. Those who have not come across Jerry's love story, I'll put it here. She is a Kenyan lady based in Norway. She has got a YouTube channel too, guys. You can check her out. Jerry's kitchen and lifestyle. I'll also put her YouTube channel name here so that you can see it. Her video, oh my God, it has been a blessing. And imagine guys, 
if I could have come with Jerry's story, I'm like, yes, you guys should find love online. Jerry found love. You know, she searched after, you know, five months or six months. She found the one. Now she is in Norway living her best life. End of the story. 10 minutes video. You couldn't have got that strategy of 10 to 15 messages. You see? <laughs> yes, so this explains it all to why I give you stories into details. <laughs> so Linda used Jerry's strategy, kept on sending those messages. Whenever she could feel tired, could just, you know, not send or send five. When she is energized, she could send 15. I told you guys, don't just sit and be like, I am waiting for a guy to write to me. No, reach out to guys too. Yes, exist guys who say, oh, I don't want a lady to approach me. When you see that, trouble, red flag. <laughs> Keep on reaching out to guys. One day, that right guy will respond to you. Do not get discouraged. You're sending lots of messages, no feedback. Take a break, come back, keep sending goal. <laughs> yeah, we will one day find him. So friends, Linda says, yes, she could send 10 to 15 messages in a day, but attention could go through a guy's profile before messaging that guy could first read what they were looking for and then where they came from. So kept on doing like that. And then after three days of rejoining that dating site that I'm going to be sharing with you later, before I end this video, came across a profile of an Norwegian guy. This guy was in his late 40s. So guys, this Norwegian guy or Norwegian guy's profile in his, what he's looking for in a woman stated that he's looking for a long-term relationship based on love and openness. What does this tell us? The guy is serious. And I told you guys, when you are online, one thing you don't need to miss is to ignore a guy who is the one. So you have to pay attention to details. If I was Linda, just reading that could have told me this guy is serious. Because exist guys, when you go through their profiles online, you will find out that what they're looking for in a woman, <laughs> they're looking for a woman who has got a very high sexual drive. <laughs> I love sex a lot. <laughs> I can make sex I don't know how many times in a day. And you know what? <laughs> These losers that write that, when it comes to, you know, the reality, you give them the goodies, they are incapable. <laughs> A lady came to talk to me and was like, this guy in his profile, <laughs> he said that he has got a very high sexual drive. He likes sex a lot, but he is incapable. <laughs> when it comes to take the goodies, there exist guys, you know, <laughs> they won't even include that in their profile, but yo, <laughs> when you give the goodies, oh my God they are super <laughs> this reminds me of my baby i won't mention her name <laughs> you know we talk i told you as much as i guide you i'm your mentor you know and all that i treat you like a sister because <laughs> i know some things you can't even discuss them with your mother but with me you can <laughs> and your secret will always be here i'll never mention your name i'll give an example and that's it <laughs> so this baby of mine <laughs> found love and the guy went to visit you know decided to enjoy the goodies so <laughs> so when they enjoyed the goodies the next day <laughs> my baby came to me i was like bella why didn't you warn me <laughs> about these white guys i didn't know they're like that oh my god my goodies are on fire <laughs> My 
my goodies are hot on fire due to this guy. <laughs> the guy can stand on his toes. <laughs> he can take the goodies well, well. Oh. <laughs> so she was like, you could have warned me <laughs> that, yo, it's going to be like this. But he never said it in his profile. <laughs> Only. Only the incapable guys are the one that always be like, oh, I'm like this. <laughs> Brag. I can do this. I'm so good in bed and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> Back to Linda's love story, guys. <laughs> Let's leave the goodies alone. <laughs> We're going to hear them later as we continue with the story. So that's how this guy from Norway, his profile was and after linda reading through his profile liked it though this norwegian guy was looking for a lady who is more older than linda but linda had liked the guy and told herself why not let me give it a try write to him a message so she made that first move told the guy liked his profile though she is younger than what that guy was looking for but still is interested in getting to know him so friends after linda sending him that message making that first move the norwegian guy responded back but his message guys the message that he responded to linda if you are attentive, you will understand a lot. That is why I have been advising you, giving you tips, despite all the challenges that you have been through on the sites. I know some of you right now are indifferent, you know. You chat with guys, some are good, some are bad, but you can't even differentiate. Due to that, you have trained your mind to accept that all guys on the dating sites are not serious but still you're just being like let me just be there don't be like that if you really want to find love online then go there with your mind settled pay attention to details pay attention to the messages guys respond to you because if you're not paying attention you are going to miss out the right guy and i don't want that to happen you know <laughs> i want to celebrate because every time i get news it's celebration <laughs> so guys i am going to be putting the message that he responded to linda here so that you can see it but at the same time i am going to be reading through the message that he responded to linda so you read there as you listen to me <laughs> yeah good morning lindsay your message and also your words in your profile have moved me a lot that's why i write i have absolutely no experience with african women so far the European women have hurt me and betrayed me. I have to tell you one more thing. You are incredibly beautiful. How sweet. <laughs> I can't take my eyes off your photos. I told you, you need to have those catchy photos <laughs> that you're going to stand out that he won't put off his eyes off those photos <laughs> i'm writing to you even though i don't know at the moment where this may or may lead but you should know that i am open and honest with every person no matter where they are from or come from the only thing I wish for is to be treated openly, fairly, honestly. I'm originally from Germany and I immigrated to Norway 13 years ago, where I work as a technical manager in a solar company. From a professional point of view, things have always been uphill. Unfortunately, this does not apply to my private life, sadly. I have been married twice, once for seven years and once for 18 years, but both 
failed. I think guys, you agree with me when I tell you that going through this message, it clearly shows the guy is genuine. Very, very genuine. He is even talking about his past. So through his message, he is the guy that is seriously in need of a genuine woman. Yeah. Did I say that when you receive a message from a guy and he gives you compliments in his first message to you, it's a good sign? <laughs> yes, I said so. Yeah, so let's keep on with this story. So friends, Linda says that from the very beginning, he showed interest in her, getting to know her and her son. Also adds with the words in his message, you could see he had taken time to think about it and was seriously interested in Linda, getting to know her, getting to know her life, and Africa. So he started researching about her country and Africa in general. I told you when you are seriously interested in a person, you will want to know everything about them. So when you see that in a guy, don't take it lightly or ignore it. No, it's a good sign that the guy is really interested in you. So for her says, this was a breath of fresh air from the one word answers and the small talk conversations that they could have. They kept on chatting on that dating site, all was going well, but Linda tells us was not comfortable yet to share her WhatsApp numbers. <laughs> yeah, did not exchange immediately cause was super tired. Of exchanging her WhatsApp numbers with losers online. You exchange WhatsApp numbers, you go to WhatsApp, they don't talk. You go to WhatsApp, they ghost you. You go to WhatsApp, they tell you undress. I wanna see your naked body and all that. <laughs> and they said one time, among of the challenges that most ladies go through while they are on the dating sites, even one of my babies shared her love story and was like, it reached a point. All her phone book <laughs> was full of the numbers of white guys, <laughs> but no one was serious. So that too happened to Linda and was tired, said, no, we are going to chat in here until I am comfortable, you know, to exchange my WhatsApp numbers with you. But attention guys, this Norwegian guy wanted to see Linda on a video call wanted to see more of her photos. But Linda explained and was like, give me some more time. Let's keep on chatting here. I'm not ready. I would like to get to know you more first. Then we can move to WhatsApp. What does this tell us? It tells us that serious guys will ask you for a video call. It always disturbs me when I see a lady has been chatting with a guy, a guy is telling her sweet words, you know, telling her all those things that are melting her heart or she wants to hear, but doesn't want to do a video call. Cause you should be worried. If that guy really is interested in you, likes you that much, will have that push to want to see you on a video call to see whom he is dealing with yeah because we know how online dating can be you find serious women and serious women serious men and serious men so a video call is always important yes i know i told you guys some of you are indifferent <laughs> so even if you do a video call even if your guy doesn't ask a video call it's fine but it's not fine no it's not fine and when you're telling a guy let's do a video call he keeps on like bringing excuses no i can't do that video call girl end it end it immediately because if he's serious he will want to see you just as you want to see him you want to clarify if he is serious if he is real 
he should also be worried like is she real is she serious then telling you words that he doesn't even mean yeah i love you i want to have kids with you i will marry you i want to come and see you <laughs> see who a lady whom you have never even seen on a video call it does not make sense so serious men will ask a video call you who are scared to do video calls because guys will ask you i don't know strange things that's how online dating world is he asks for a video call or you ask a video call and then he starts showing his eggplant block and move forward that's how you deal with it but you can't just say no i won't do video calls because a guy will show me his eggplant or we start you know <laughs> playing with his eggplant no that's not a good excuse for not making a video call i repeat so later as they kept on chatting on that dating site decided to exchange emails it's linda who gave the guy her email because still was not ready to give him <laughs> her whatsapp numbers he accepted and they started exchanging photos you know through email emailing each other every single day and linda tells us is someone who loves reading <laughs> and this lady is so good at writing because the way she wrote this story oh my god everything was in order and you can see it has been long we have three parts because <laughs> she is super good at narrating at writing yeah so she also loves reading a lot and tells us because she loves reading the emails that they could exchange every day was so nice but still the norwegian guy wanted to see her on a video call that is when linda was like because i don't want to give him my whatsapp numbers yet suggested that they should use google meet guys i think you have got a new app if you didn't know <laughs> google meet where you can chat and do those video calls with a guy that you don't want to exchange whatsapp numbers with so what struck linda the most tells us was his openness and his honesty because this guy was very honest was very clear on what he was looking for in a relationship so dear friends we have an afro cinema <laughs> i know you're like an afro cinema already bella yes we have an afro cinema already so lena tells us when they started communicating she almost backed away because of his honesty and openness because as they were chatting this guy started giving her his background and that's when he told linda had two failed marriages in the past that one she knew it from the message that he sent but also added has six kids linda was like bella six kids but most were adults over 18. she was so discouraged by that and that's why she hesitated a bit before giving out her whatsapp numbers but with time she understood his situation and what kind of a man he is so yes later when linda felt comfortable to share her whatsapp numbers with this norwegian guy his name is chris shared the numbers and after sharing the whatsapp numbers or exchanging whatsapp numbers they started chatting and video calling every single day and because they could do video calls he showed her around his house and was very open told her about his financial situation also told her it had been five months since he left the house where he used to live with the ex-wife left the house to the ex and his kids also told her their divorce was not yet finalized but was in the process so while chatting with him and him like explaining his situation remembered there is a video i did here on my channel and i talked about guys divorcing how it can be hard for them after divorcing 
I remember too <laughs> about that video. Yeah, I'm really thankful that I do videos and you guys go to the dating sites, come across situations, my videos be of a help. So at that time, Linda remembered, I was like, oh yes, Bella talked about this. It's normal. So this guy isn't lying or I shouldn't put my expectations like very, very high because he has told me already he just separated and is in the divorce process. So you too, who is on the dating sites, dating apps, searching for love, and maybe you come across a guy who just got divorced. If that guy had kids with the ex-wife and then they divorce, that guy will take 10 steps backwards in his life. Yeah. So if he had a house, you know, maybe his life was good, moving forward, bought this luxurious house, had this luxurious car. <laughs> if they divorce, that guy might lose everything. Yeah, because some exes can be really bad and reach an extent of wanting a guy to remain with nothing. Even my husband one time was telling me before those days, guys could divorce and sleep on the streets because the court could take everything away from the guy and give it to the ex and the kids. Yeah, they could come first. If you go sleep in the streets, we don't care. <laughs> And at the end of the month, of course, the money to maintain the kids has to be cut <laughs> and sent to the kids. Though these days things have changed, they also think of the guy, how is he going to survive? So yeah, even if they take some things away from him, they'll make sure that he will survive, he will have money, you know, to rent an apartment and, you know, live, move forward with his life. So don't start chatting with a guy. He tells you, I just got divorced. And then <laughs> you see him in two bedrooms apartment. you be like, ah, he is poor. <laughs> or you see him driving a very small car. You're like, what kind of a car is that? This guy is really poor. Not to my standards and all that. Another thing is some guys they divorce start living alone they can't just go and look for a bigger house no <laughs> they be like i'm alone you know i'm a bachelor why should i take a bigger house for example my own husband you know when i got introduced to him and then it was my time to come visit him here in italy he was living in a two bedrooms apartment <laughs> very small so what if i looked down on him because later he came to tell me it's not that i was not capable of taking a bigger house no, simply I was alone. So why take a bigger house? <laughs> a smaller house is even, you know, easy to clean and manage. So let's learn from Linda's love story. And I hope the tips that I'm giving you will help you. When it comes to the guy that tells you I am going to divorce, I told you if you're going to date a guy, at least he should be separated from the wife, not a guy that is still living under the same roof with the ex-wife and tells you the divorce is still in the process, we will divorce, but still living together. That one, never believe him. But if this guy separated from the ex-wife, because here, the first step, if you guys want to divorce and you have kids, you first separate. And when you separate, the court knows that. The government knows that, that you separated, okay? <laughs> you're still husband and wife, you know, in the papers, but you're living totally a different life. She is living her life. A guy is living her life. So that one, you can give him a chance, but also he should tell you when, you know, when is he divorcing and should also show you the papers for separation because there are some papers that are filled in when they separate yeah it's very very important guys so that you don't waste time with guys that are still married that they tell you i separated we're gonna have the divorce and later tears <laughs> bella he played me bella he wasted my time no i don't want to hear that so when it comes to the introduction he never introduced her 
to the kids like right away but as time kept on going sometimes they could talk on a video call and the kids could visit so he could just you know show the kids the camera and linda could see the kids and do like this that's the guy that has got nothing to hide from you so he became very consistent with calling and formally asked her to be his girlfriend linda of course accepted so officially they were a girlfriend and a boyfriend also linda liked he paid attention to what she said for example tells us one time he left the house to some work projects and didn't tell linda did not communicate linda wasn't happy about it and told him i don't like that you should always communicate and from that time he could update linda on everything when he leaves the house and when he returns back home not those losers that you meet online when you tell them something they're like i don't want a woman who controls me so whatever you ask he feels like you're demanding too much you're too controlling making you feel like you have a problem or you are a bad woman <laughs> we can differentiate here guys so because chris was doing the same like updating her on everything linda could do the same i talked about this guys when a guy is opening up, when a guy is showing you his life, his daily activities, it won't cost you a thing to show him to your daily activities, to tell him, honey, I'm going to work, honey, I am back home. And that's how a guy sees that you are really committed to that relationship, then leaving him do his part and you don't do your part so chris was into linda and was also interested in getting to speak with son <laughs> so when linda was comfortable and ready she let the son have a conversation with chris on the phone so all was going really good and one thing i love about linda she is so strict i love this a lot a lot a lot i told you guys no showing mercy to these people on the dating sites don't be a weak girl <laughs> <laughs> i'm not telling you to be aggressive i'm not telling you to be mean but be strict know what you want stand for that don't be like bella i'm not finding the one online because maybe i am too strict no <laughs> you are not please stop talking like that because we get a good example of linda she was super strict but did she remain single forever no she didn't <laughs> so yes they kept on communicating they could do video calls it reached a point you know the bill for the phone was too much for linda <laughs> so she had to tell him you know what i may not be able to talk to you all the time on a video call because bundles are too expensive for me and that was the first time for chris to send money to linda in zambia and from there he started sending every month he could send her money for the bundles and some other things so linda says another thing that impressed her about this german norwegian guy is that he could send her the gifts and whenever he could send her the gifts he could include her son too so could send also the gifts to the son oh my goodness this guy is so good i remember there is a guy i was guiding on the apps and was you know dating a single mother <laughs> and wanted to send something to the girlfriend so i told him or oh, i advised him guided him to also include the son i think i was like oh my god bella i didn't know that thank you <laughs> i've never dated a single mother so i don't know and that guy did not have kids he was also young so me hearing that chris could also send gifts to linda's son wow 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 linda liked that so so much 
it impressed her. <laughs> yeah, because if he loves your son, he truly loves you. So after three months of them communicating, he started bringing the marriage thing. And when he brought the marriage thing, Linda told him about the lobola <laughs> briefly. So when he brought up the engagement thing, Linda explained the first procedure for him to take. Because for him, he thought, you know, engaging her is just buying a ring for her and engage her but linda told him no it's not like that you'll first need to come meet my family <laughs> and then discuss about the lobola after you pay the lobola then you get to engage me <laughs> so for him was okay after hearing the lobola he was okay to pay the lobola <laughs> but after that had to go online and look for lobola calculator but they are not always accurate linda says so the amount that they gave to chris was totally wrong and linda told him no it's not always like that that when a lady has children or has a baby then the lobola should be low it depends on the tribe yeah so if you are a white guy or a black guy not from africa like in the caribbeans i heard you people don't have the bride price black americans i heard there is no bride price <laughs> yeah so if you're watching this and maybe you're dating a lady who is a single mom it doesn't mean if you are to pay the bride price, it should be low. No, it depends with the tribe. You just need to discuss with the family of the lady. But for me, I always add that. Talk to the lady too. You tell her how much you are capable of paying. Like Chris had told Linda his situation, you know, his financial situation. So even if the family came up, with a crazy amount of the bride price, Lena was going to stand up and say, no, you can't charge him that amount because I know him. He can offer this. But also Chris, you know, Linda's family was really open, okay? And you'll get to know as I continue. So yeah, Linda explained and made it clear to him that he just needs to talk to her family and negotiate about the bride price. And of course, Linda didn't have any idea of how much he's going to be charged, but gave him a range to expect. So after discussing about the lobola and told him all the procedures, he told her to go and, you know, find out her ring size and send it to him. That is what Linda did. He also told her that he wants them to get married as soon as possible. But Linda told him, I am not ready yet. I still need to make some observations before we jump into marriage. So Chris told Linda, I want to come to Zambia, you know, so that we can do all that. Do the engagement. After the engagement, get married. And when I come there, I want to stay there three to four months. Linda tells us they had discussed and she told him that with me, you want to do 50-50 that you do in Europe. I'm an African lady. You have to take up their responsibilities as a man. So at the time he told her he wanted to go to Zambia, it was easy for Linda to tell him, if you're coming to stay here, three to four months, then you have to pay the rent, you know, for that. And he had no problem with that. Sent her the money for the renters plus the security deposit. So Linda told him that also when he comes, they will need a car to move around. You know how transport can be in most African countries. Yeah. So after Linda telling Chris that they will need a car when he comes to Zambia, he was okay too. But this time, Linda was like, I decided, you know, to help him a bit. <laughs> so they had to split that. But tells us he paid the most of it. Yeah. So with this, I remember recently I received a comment and someone was super angry why did I say when a woman helps a man financially, then is a mumu? <laughs> Guys, 
if you're going to help a guy who is not the one, a guy who will not marry you, a guy whom you spend your money on and go spend that money on another woman, you are a mumu, a total mumu. <laughs> and I told you I'm not ashamed of it. I've been a mumu too. In the past, the guys that I used to spend my money on, I can't say like lots of money, but you know, you buy gifts, you know, to spice up things, <laughs> to show a guy you care. <laughs> Those guys never married me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they ended up marrying other women. They ended up wearing the things that I bought for them <laughs> to go sleep with other women. I was a total mumu, okay? <laughs> also recently, there is a lady who contacted me was like, Bella, oh my God, there is this lady has been dating a guy. A guy just went to Africa. He's only bragging. He's not spending his money, but this lady is Depending on this guy like uh, like you can never imagine I'm trying to stop her but <laughs> she's not listening to me so this lady that is spending money on this guy who came from Europe <laughs> the guy is not spending even a coin on her <laughs> she is a mumu <laughs> but Linda helping Chris on the car bill she is not a mumu and me too guys i come here and talk to you like this it's not that i am a mean girl <laughs> no i'm not i wish i could bring my husband here to talk to you and tell you how i'm sweet and sometimes i spoil him not with the goodies only but with other things you know treat him <laughs> and all of that <laughs> In that case, I'm not a mumu, you know, I'm spoiling my husband, a man who truly loves me with all his heart. <laughs> yeah, a guy who has sacrificed a lot for me. There is no mumu there. Case closed. <laughs> because you imagine you pay a guy's rent when he comes to stay with you in Africa for three months. The guy takes the goodies and you find he's one of those guys that hey, it is fire every night. <laughs> goodies. <laughs> for three good months. <laughs> you also pay for his car, you know, to move him around. And this guy returns to his country, tells you it's over. It hurts. It hurts, guys. So... <laughs> We are going to both lose. You know, I can't lose alone. We will both lose in this case. <laughs> yeah, at least this is how I think of things. This is my own point of view. You are free to criticize, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, after discussing all that, Chris had to put more hours to work and start saving for his trip and the lobola. I told you about Mr. I am saving, but Chris is not in the category of Mr. I am saving because he knew when he was going to Zambia and it didn't take a year guys before Chris went to Zambia to meet Linda. Also, Chris wanted Linda to tell her mother about him, though Linda was so scared, you know, of how to tell her mother, but eventually, Found the curry, talked to her, she understood, accepted him, and was super happy. So after Linda talking to her mom, then that's when Chris talked to Linda's mom on a phone and they discussed about the lobola. All was good, though Linda was scared to fix the date. For marriage because was still observing still wanted to take time and wanted to meet him in person and see how Chris is going to interact with her son this is how a single mother should be you shouldn't just be jumping into relationships no take your time a guy who loves you when he sees you wanting to take your time to clear 
things, he will give you the space to do that, but won't leave you, you know. He will stick with you. He will show you, this is me, you know, <laughs> so that you can clear all doubts and then move forward. But a guy who runs after you say, I want to take my time, I want to observe, you know, I'm a single mom, then he's like, I'm marrying you, not your son. Run, sis, run. <laughs> so yes guys the relationship continued and eventually Chris bought the ticket to go to Zambia finally when he bought that ticket I remember yes Linda shared with me <laughs> that plane ticket this is when it was sinking in that things are real <laughs> yeah <laughs> when you see that ticket oh my god you be like ah so all these things that we have been talking, the plans, these things are real. This guy is real. <laughs> He's coming for me. Yeah. <laughs> so he kept on being consistent with communication and also sending her money could help her with the school expenses of her son. He is a responsible guy. So Linda started preparing for his arrival and tells us because Chris had treated her super good, wanted to welcome him very well and buy gifts for him too. She is a sweet girl too. We should learn from her. We shouldn't always like to receive, but we don't give. Okay, dear beautiful ladies, if you are my baby, this is how you should be. <laughs> be a sweet girl, cause your mom too here is a sweet girl. <laughs> so she bought him a perfume, wine, toiletries, and booked a day at the resort. Cause on 20th November was going to be Chris's birthday. So Chris was arriving in Zambia 12th of November, 2023 and found Linda and her son waiting for him at the airport. Oh my God, this is so emotional. <sighs> yeah, she was so happy. And when he saw her, he recognized her and she ran, went to kiss, had flowers, gave them to him. He was super, super happy. They were so happy to meet each other. Also, her sisters had accompanied her to meet Chris. It was such a wonderful moment. So yes, after the airport, they went home, arriving home, there was a cake, a welcoming cake <laughs> for Chris and his gifts, you know, waiting for him. He was super, super happy. I'm telling you, African ladies <laughs> are super, super sweet and caring but don't frustrate us because when you frustrate us <laughs> we become bitter 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 <laughs> so guys my goodies lovers <laughs> i know you're waiting <laughs> so linda tells us the house they were renting had three bedrooms and what she told her mom is that she will be sleeping in a separate room but lena tells us but bella you know <laughs> it was not possible it wasn't possible <laughs> to maintain that promise to her mom but tells us they did not do it or enjoy it that same same night not at all <laughs> because the same house it's where his son was so wanted to be careful about it also wanted the son to adjust chris being around but the second night that is when the goodies <laughs> were shared or enjoyed but we have an afro cinema <laughs> Lena tells us, or was telling me, Bella, I was disappointed because it's not what I expected. Yeah. So if you're an adult, you know what she means. <laughs> yeah, it was a total disappointment. And from there, Lena started thinking maybe it's because of the age. Maybe he is too old for me. 
and started rethinking of their relationship, but later got the courage to share this with one of her sisters. And her sister told her, please give things time and focus on what drew you to him. So his birthday came and had to take him to the resort. They went, arrived, he really liked it. And that's when they decided to try again for the second time and tells us this second time, wow. <laughs> he went beyond her expectation. <laughs> they really enjoyed so, so much the goodies. <laughs> Yeah, it was super, super good and they were all happy because at first, Chris was super, super embarrassed of what happened. But later, Linda came to realize that Chris needed time to adjust, you know, with him being in Zambia, the weather and everything. So she told us at first had not taken leave from work, so she used to go to work and Chris was of a big help, could help her around the house to cook, you know, with his son. Oh my God, his son liked him very much and was very comfortable around him. Tells us things were moving really good in a natural way, like as if they had been together for a long time. Though, tells us they had some arguments. It's normal to have arguments as a couple. But in the end, Chris could handle those arguments in a mature way. So she says this was another thing she wanted to observe. That is why she was taking time to set the date for marriage or for their wedding. Tells us it is important to see how the person resolves his anger yeah <laughs> and this is super super true because if there is no arguments nothing it's hard to see the other side of the person yeah i've told you i'm sweet i'm kind romantic but when you cross that line <laughs> you can see my anger and i'm not someone who keeps things inside and cry no for me i like to let them out yes i can observe because i'm not someone who also likes to jump into conclusions a small thing you jump to judge no i look at something i give it time i think of it and when i'm ready to talk oh my god you'll find a place to hide because all that i'll be telling you will be the honest truth <laughs> Though when I'm angry, I tend to break, like my words tend to break, but eventually I let them all out. So have arguments and you'll see how someone can resolve their anger. Because some people, when you have an argument, they will just stand up and tell you, I don't want to talk, you know, I'll come back later. Some will tell you, shut up, stupid woman. What are you talking about? Well, some will hit you, become violent. So Linda wanted to see that. And she saw that he could resolve his anger in a mature way. At that time, she was like, oh yes, now we can set the date for marriage. And of course, that is what Chris wanted for them to get married. Also, he had seen how it is expensive, you know, to maintain a long distance relationship also wanted Linda to be close to him forever. Yeah, so the date was set and they had to communicate with the few relatives and friends. Chrissy's sister was waiting for the wedding date because wanted to attend the wedding. So when they told her about the wedding date, she was super, super happy and excited for them. So guys, the big day came for Linda to get married and yes, they got married. Yay! Congratulations to you, Linda, and your husband. I wish you all the best in your marriage. Guys, let us wish them all the best. Of course, tells us it consisted of few friends and families. 
Chris's sister came to the wedding and she was super, super happy that she came. And yes, guys, when they got married, she told me everything. Yeah, I was so happy, sent me the wedding photos. I told her we need to share this story. She was like, Bella, after my honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing the story. <laughs> Though she came to share later, yeah, due to lots of things that came in between. So yeah, they went to their honeymoon at Siavonga. Zambians watching this, you will know Siavonga. Yeah. So they went there, enjoyed, and after their honeymoon, returned and started the paperwork for the visa process. So when they thought of, you know, applying for the spouse visa to Norway, they found out that in Zambia, there was no Norwegian embassy. It was in Malawi and South Africa. Also traveling with Anne wasn't going to be convenient. Yeah, so in the end, they decided to apply in Norway. Linda tells you that he could help her with everything. Let it be the paperwork. Let it be go for shopping, everything. And they could go everywhere together so as they were preparing the papers for the visa of course of course they had already applied for their international marriage certificate and tells us her siblings helped them a lot within a week she got her international marriage certificate so they continued arranging all the papers for her spouse visa so as they were arranging the documents for the spousal visa they also applied for a visit visa to norway and then the time for chris to go back to norway came he left but they were very very sad linda tells us it was so hard she even felt lonelier the more because they could do everything together go everywhere together so she got used to that <laughs> when you go into an interracial relationship it is one of the challenge that you have to come to accept the distance yeah <laughs> so one month after chris left to norway linda got her visa her visit visa to join the husband and yes eventually traveled went to norway arriving in norway was welcomed super super good oh my god i can't stop repeating this chris is a responsible man also tells us took her shopping when she arrived and gave her her own visa card <laughs> to be using and before i forget also bought her a new phone linda tells us it feels really good to be taken care of especially if you have been in those relationships where no man has ever taken care of you but you have been just a mumu to these guys taking care of them <laughs> So guys, I know some of you are like, so what happens to Linda's son? <laughs> yeah, so Linda tells us there were some missing documents for her son to travel with her. But they are working on that and soon he will join them. Because you are here guys, I will update you on that. And the new new update is that eventually got her Norwegian resident permit i shared on my instagram stories so that's linda that i was talking about so to the name of the dating site where linda found the norwegian german guy found him on this dating app that i am the first black woman <laughs> to share it here on youtube <laughs> and most ladies like i have lots of success stories from this dating site because these ladies watched my videos <laughs> the name of the site is f dating it's a free dating site a site that linda thought it was unskilled a dating site that linda didn't even take it seriously at first when her sister shared it with her but god is good <laughs> it's where linda found the one her beloved husband so guys i asked linda's husband some questions and i would like you guys 
to hear his response. It's very, very important because this keeps on giving you a picture of a serious man. Yes, not all men are the same, but you know, when we talk of a guy who is serious, of course, the signs are always the same. Nothing changes. So guys, the first question that I asked Linda's husband, <laughs> and this works on your favor, if there is a guy watching this and is not from Africa, you know, <laughs> we'll get some tips. So my question was, how does he feel to be married to an African woman? And this is his response. I have never thought about whether I feel different because I married an African woman. I'm just happy and full of love. And I feel like I am loved too for the first time in my life. Wow. I feel like I have been reborn since I have found the woman of my life and we found each other. It doesn't matter where my beloved wife comes from. Only mutual feelings mutual regard and respect are important second was what attracted him to linda so that you guys get a bit of an idea what attracts these white men <laughs> to us black women <laughs> yeah oh what is that something special that linda had maybe you have it it's time to display it <laughs> so that you can find the one so let's read through again it was her open and honest written words that moved me so much and touched my heart that i could no longer let go we were like two soulmates who searched for each other and found each other i think my wife sees it the same way after so many years of disappointment two people who are similar and longed so much for security and real love finally met and sometimes i think someone wanted us to find each other because i myself never looked on african continent and i only created my account on the dating site four days before for me african women were always far away living in a different world eating a big butt to please other men. <laughs> Strange culture when women all over Europe are starving to please themselves and others. But I never had any prejudices and I was always open about it. So I found love on the continent that I had always excluded you who are like i'm too far these white guys don't want me because i'm too far someone can change his mind work on your profiles you know write those honest words words that you know will make a guy not to let go just like how this german guy felt when he read linda's profile so we continue always excluded africa Fate or gift, for me, it is both because I have never met such a wonderful, tender, sincere, and beautiful woman who changed my whole life. Wow, wow, wow. I really don't know how Linda feels about these words. <laughs> they are so, so sweet. Every day I'm grateful for this one chance to finally feel love and be happy today i am married to a beautiful woman from africa and i feel like the luckiest man in the world i love and long for africa i honor and respect the culture there i love african food that my angel prepares for me i love my wife more than anything i love her affection her respect and regard for me and the trust she gives me i will never betray this sincere trust i never want to lose this happiness this joy and this special love again wow 
<laughs> oh my god the only thing i can say is wow so the third question that i asked him <laughs> the advice he says just be honest open and yourself no show no games then you will find in african women what makes your life more worth living and what makes your heart beat forever <laughs> so quickly guys we go to linda's advice i know the video has been super long but we can't end it without the lady who found love to give you the advice so stick here <laughs> keep being patient we are almost winding up pick the tips okay <laughs> i'm going to be reading again for you her advice so her number one advice to single ladies searching for love online is never devalue yourself and end up settling for less we do not ask for the situation of being single mother but we can learn from it especially in africa otherwise you can find yourself as a mother of all nations giving in to any guy that comes along that is her advice number one always prioritize your child if a man puts you in a position where you have to choose between your child and them then leave leave sis <laughs> i did have a lot of men backing off because i already had a child those who want to stay we love your child as well. Her advice number three, having a child with someone should not be an excuse to remain in a bad relationship, no matter what names you are called. Some of those friends I told you about who are single married mothers are now asking me about how I met my husband and want to leave. You see? you see guys <laughs> those ladies the friends that linda was laughing at in part two telling us they were literally single women like her but with a married title <laughs> yeah now they are asking her how did you meet your husband <laughs> so let's go to her advice number four to all ladies it is very easy for us women to fall in love you say Bella, the one who bewitched women. <laughs> yeah, I always say that. <laughs> Died a long time ago. <laughs> Be practical when you, before you put your heart out there. If you meet someone you are very interested in, make sure you try and ask questions that will put you or bring out the person's character. It doesn't have to be direct but you can use situations and ask what they will do in that situation it will help to see if you are compatible from the beginning or if it is a worthwhile venture otherwise love can blind us from seeing the red flags right under our noses we all deserve to be treated well also it is not the whole village that must know your business have few friends you can trust when you start your online dating journey others give bad advice or out of jealousy other people will only try to discourage you or make you feel bad most people in africa are still not yet accustomed to online dating and for some it is seen as a desperate last measure i thank god i had my sister I wouldn't even have known about this channel it is also good to be with people who are seeking the same things as you are like bella's channel she gives a balanced view on realities of online dating some of these interracial couples channels like exaggerating the good life and they may give you wrong expectations I was also happy when my sister met her fiancé. You know her sister, guys. I shared her love story. She found a Dutch guy and she is my baby. <laughs> my real, real baby. <laughs> yeah, she brought her sister here. You see? <laughs> 
<laughs> on my channel. So tells us she was super, super happy that her sister met her fiancé. It feels bad when you are the only one who succeeds in the struggle you have been facing together. This is so true. Yeah. One last thing, Bella. When we go to online dating, we should go with an open mind. These guys do so much for us and it is not always easy to accept our culture. They pay lobola, eat our food, but it has to be two-way thing. Things are done differently in Europe also. Imagine if I had just walked away when he mentioned he has six kids, but most of those become independent at 18 and rarely meddle in the affairs of their parents unlike the drama in our Africa. This is super, super true. I told you when you go on the dating sites, concentrate on normal guys and also don't rush to block a guy. Get to understand the guy first. You know his situation, how genuine he is. The way you as a single mother of six, you as a single mother of two, you as a single mother of three, you are searching for love. Men too, who are single parents, single fathers of two, three, four, five, six, seven, also wants to find that true love. They deserve to be loved, okay? So let's keep on being open-minded when we go to these dating sites. So my dear beautiful friends, we have reached an end of our today's video. Be blessed for your love and your support. You being patient to watch this video till this point. Please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your family, friends, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. You're going to learn a lot of things, guys. I promise you. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? I have a friend who always be like, Bella, you're supposed to be at 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> with the following that you have so don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.